Hello students, hope you are doing well and welcome to another session of the critical structure, uh, critical reasoning structure based question. So here we come with uh, another question types and this one is referring to conclusion based question. So before we jump to the questions uh, and uh, identify its uh, correct answers from the correct answer from the answer choice. So let's read the text. Let's see that what the direction also says. So the direction says, read the text and answer the questions below. Okay. So uh, what the text says, the text says that history is quite central to the idea of law. In my opinion, every lawyer is a historian of sorts because we are essentially arguing precedents of the past. Arguing what? Precedents of the past and convincing the judges as convincing the judges as to why a particular point is relevant and convincing the judges as what why a particular point is relevant a legal historian broadens their views with the sociological and anthropological viewpoints essentially laying down the implications of the law on the past and how it shapes our present society Interestingly, legal history helps us understand where we come from and how our society is shaped. On the basis of this uh, text, we have a question. But before we go to the question, let's understand the text that we read. What actually it tries to explain? Now, if you look into that, so the text is uh, trying to give us the idea about what means about the uh, importance of history in the field of uh, law. According to the author, every lawyer is in a way uh, that's something called as a, a historian because why, why, why does the author say like that? Because according to him, they deal with the past decisions, isn't it? Past decisions and uh, you also find out while presenting their arguments in court to convince the judges. Even the author also considered that legal historians take this concept further by analyzing the implications. So that's something called a inference. So when we talk about that um, implications, the meaning of implication is called a influence, right? Influence. So, of laws from sociological and anthropological perspectives and exploring how they have influenced past societies and continue to shape the project. Legal history, it also further says that legal history is seen as a way to understand the origin of laws and their impact on society. By studying the historical context, legal professionals can gain valuable insights into the development of legal systems and how they have shaped the present social structure. Now, uh, we have read the text and also understood the explanation out of it. Mm. So let's see that uh, what the what does the question ask us to do? The question says that what can be uh, concluded from the passage? So it's uh, again called as a, one of the conclusion based questions. Now, uh, so let's see the option. So Obviously, there will be four options uh, provided here. Uh, the first option says that legal historians solely focus on the sociological and anthropological aspects. Anthropological aspects on the uh, anthropological aspects of the law. Now, what does it uh, try to tell us? Legal historians uh, solely focus or mainly focus on the sociological and anthropological aspects of the law. So this could not be called as a correct answer because uh, it lacks the idea that called as a, um, as per the passage, the passage it, uh, mentions that part. Uh, the passage mentioned that legal historians broaden their views with sociological and anthropological viewpoints, but it does not suggest that they mainly focus, right? What they mainly focus on the sociological and anthropological aspects, so or viewpoints. 
So in that case, this makes the idea of the statement given in a uh, seems incorrect or untrue. So therefore, this cannot be called as a conclusion to the passage. Option B stated what? Option B stated understanding legal history is crucial or difficult for lawyers to be successful in their profession. Now, we could consider that this would be true. Uh, why? Now, the passage mentions that every lawyer is a historian of sorts and argues based on the past. Um, you can say that past precedents or past decisions of the law. It also highlights the role of legal historians, highlights what? The role of legal historians in broadening their views with sociological and anthropological viewpoints. Means it doesn't give importance to the, um, that called as anthropological and historical. It says that uh, historians broaden their views with social with sociological and anthropological perspective to understand the influence of the law on the past and present society. So the conclusion is that understanding legal history is crucial for lawyers, isn't it? To be effective in their profession as it enables them to make relevant and persuasive argument in court. So therefore, uh, option B is nothing but the uh, correct choice for the conclusion. So we do understand the conclusion is that what? Understanding legal history is crucial for lawyers right? to be successful in their profession. Why so? Now because it enables them to make relevant and um, convince the argument in court. Isn't it? So therefore this seems a correct conclusion to the text. But before we go to the option B, let's see that what does option C states. Option C states that legal history, legal history has no impact on shaping our present society. So, but actually, if you see the passage highlights how legal history helps us understand where we come from and how our society is shaped. Isn't it? Um, Indicating that legal history does have an impact on shaping our prison society, making this option incorrect. What is that? Now it says that legal history does have an impact. So if you say that legal history has no impact, so this proves the statement incorrect. So therefore, option C is also untrue and not correct on the basis of the question types that has been asked. Uh, so conclusion to the paragraph or text. Now moving to the option D. So what does option D states here? That option D states that legal historians and lawyers have the same perspective on the implications of law on society. Now the passage does not provide any information about the perspective of, um, perspective of the legal historians and lawyers being the same or different on the influence of law on society. So that's what is called as making this option unsupported or you can say that incorrect. Incorrect or unsupported. Right. So hence we consider option B would be the correct conclusion to the text. I hope you understood the text as well as a key idea of the question and on the basis of the question step we find out the appropriate option, which is called as a B. Isn't it? I hope you understood. That's all for the day. Thank you and happy reading.